Hunzek Hotel. Germany's Black Forest is a magical place, with a towering canopy of evergreens blotting out the sun. Many of the fairy tales written by the Brothers Grimm take place in these woods, including Snow White, and Hansel and Gretel. Wandering among the pines, it is certainly not difficult to imagine that, dwarfs, and witches might once have called this place home. The Black Forest is also home to a real-life gothic creep factory, the shuttered Hunzek Hotel. The Hunzek once served as a ski resort, then changed hands several times. At various times, it has served as a mining camp, and finally as a youth hostel. Although it looks like it could easily be the setting of a horror movie, the Hunzek is remarkably well preserved after over a decade of abandonment. The hotel can be seen by traversing the Black Forest High Road, a scenic route that winds through the mountains of southern Germany. Boker Palace Hotel and Casino Boker Hill Station was a Cambodian resort town built in the early 1920s, by colonial French settlers, the crown jewel of which was the beautiful Boker Palace Hotel and Casino. Construction in the remote mountains was difficult, and around 1,000 lives were lost in the process. The area flourished for two decades as an oasis in the squalid heat and clutter of Phnom Penh, but Europeans fled the area in the late 1940s when the Vietnam conflict ramped up. Boker Palace was used intermittently over the years, but constant military and political instability including invasions by Vietnam and mass killings by the Khmer Rouge ensured the area was all but abandoned by the early 90s. Boker Hill Station is now a popular tourist attraction, sitting on national park land. Although not even 100 years old, the hotel looks like Moscow's ancient ruin. According to locals, the palace teems with the spirits of those who gave their lives to build it. A park ranger named Vichat explained that, he wouldn't enter the building at night, saying every time we walk past, we can hear the dead walk in there. It's full of ghosts. Several movies have capitalized on the hotel's creepy atmosphere, including Korean horror film Our Point, and Matt Dillon's forgettable crime drama City of Ghosts. Le Plaza Much of the city of Detroit is a dystopian wasteland of abandoned structures. According to the White House Blight Task Force, some 80,000 buildings sit empty in the city. One of the most magnificent, and airy is the Lee Plaza, a 15-story Art Deco behemoth built in 1929. This residential hotel was a marvel for its time, designed so that, tenants never had to leave. The Lee contained a library, a daycare, a beauty parlor, a grocer and even in that driving range, among other amenities. The lobby was exquisitely appointed with fine woods, marble, and beautiful frescoes. As the fortunes of the Motor City waned, so did those of Lee Plaza. The property was too exorbitant for its own good, and frequently switched hands during its history. In the late 1960s, it became a home for low-income senior citizens, but problems continued to plague the building including the murder of one of its elderly residents. It was finally closed in 1997. The exterior entrances and ground floor windows have been bricked up, and the panes of the upper windows have all been removed, leaving the brutal Michigan winds to howl through the structure throughout the year. Vandals soon made their way inside, and the ornate lobby area and ballroom have been thoroughly demolished, featuring an overturned piano cracked marble, and derelict 1970s-era furniture. Someone even managed to strip the copper from the roof. Lee Plaza seems to be an ideal candidate for raising to the ground, but it is actually on the National Register of Historic Places. <laughs>